Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Science Test Faith. This is an article uh, about uh, a DVD uh, talking about the Eucharistic miracle. And apparently over in Argentina, then Archbishop, then Cardinal, uh, he approved this one miracle. What happened was somebody discarded a host and uh, <clears throat> they took it and what's uh, protocol to do is to put it in, in a little bit of water and put it in the tabernacle. Well, a couple days later, three days later or so, they went over there and it turned out to be there was blood on the host and uh, they couldn't believe what was going on. And if you watch this one DVD and uh, the, the, the YouTube to it, they're, they're talking about that it was pulsating. Uh, apparently it was alive, the heart was alive, and they took the uh, s sample from it and how could it be possibly be alive? The, the, when they took the blood sample away from it, uh, it the heart was still beating. And there, there evidence of it in, in the white cells. Uh, there was a little bit of a thorn in there. Uh, this is really, uh, do miracles still happen? And they're talking about how uh, this one lady, uh, Katya Rivas, uh, over in Bolivia, uh, they went to see her too, and these two Australians, and they uh, went to see her on Good Friday thinking that, that their stigmata would have occur on Good Friday. There was no stigmata on Good Friday, and they, uh, she told, Katya told them, no, you have to come after the feast of the, corp of the body of Christ, or Corpus Christi. So they went over then in, in uh, June, and they found uh, the day before uh, Feast of the Sacred Heart, they found these, 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 this time there were two of them back to back, these two feast days. And what happened was, uh, the, the night before, she, she uh, turned away from the, the group and she, she was very, very agitated and, and troubled, just like the, uh, Gethsemane in our, of our Lord. Next day at three o'clock in the after, uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, her hands started bleeding and her feet started bleeding and her sides started bleeding. She, she was in a real big mess and almost died. It looked as though she was dying and they had to hold her up to try to keep her from uh, choking on all the flu that was building up in her, in her, in her lungs. And uh, uh, the next day, now suppose they, they, this is all being taped. So how could it, she, uh, she be inflicting herself with, with these wounds herself? And uh, apparently the journalist said, no, they were there and they saw it. The next day, the wounds were healed. Now, if you had inflicted these wounds on yourself, uh, naturally the wounds would, would not heal that fast, and there, there was no, no, there were no wounds over there. Same thing with the statue, uh, the statue of, of our Lord, the, the bust from the shoulder up, the face started bleeding. There, there was uh, tears coming down, and it looks a ghastly mess. So please watch this DVDs for two days and two Wednesdays, and you'll see uh, see what you think about it. Thank you very much for watching Plain Truth. And I think miracles still do happen.